Hong Kong is a highly urbanized modern city located in southeastern China. However, there are also many rural areas within the country. In fact, 75% of Hong Kong's land remains undeveloped. The city's largest native terrestrial animal is the Eurasian wild pig, also known as the wild boar. The presence of these animals has not always been a concern, but recently the wild boars have been known to wander into public areas such as walking trails or barbecue pits and even into the inner city. According to the Agriculture and Fisheries Conservation Department, the number of wild boar nuisance complaints on Hong Kong Island alone have tripled from 98 in 2013 to 324 in 2017. So in this report, I will be investigating whether the significant increase of wild boars in Hong Kong is really a problem. A giant wild boar was recently seen invading a garbage bin close to a school in Hong Kong. A wild boar crashes through the ceiling of a children's clothing store in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong? Officers tried to catch a boar on the loose in the streets. Many wild boar sightings have been reported in the Aberdeen Country Park, so I came to have a look for myself. Soon after arrival, I managed to locate the creatures that have so recently become the talk of the town. As you can see here, they aren't hesitant in going about their daily business, and the presence of humans have not bothered them whatsoever. It's 6 o'clock in the evening right now, and as you can see, the wild boars are coming out. Uh, they're not scared around humans. There's a family of five behind me right now, um, and there are people barbecuing right beside them. So. Yeah. The wild boars roam into public areas in order to find food to consume. Some have become reliant on people feeding them, which is a major problem for modern life, as the pigs will have more reason to wander into the inner city. But the appearance of the feral animals in the city are striking fear in some of the residents living in Hong Kong. In fact, some unlucky locals were reportedly attacked and injured by boars in various districts of Hong Kong. An attack on a 70 year old man occurred right here at this bus stop in Leitung. The pig reportedly bit the man on the right leg after he threw a stone at it in an attempt to make the boar leave. I interviewed a fellow Hong Kong citizen to investigate into her perspectives on the issue of wild boars. I started hearing about the wild boars about two years ago uh, by seeing it on the news and seeing posters around. I think I was on a walk with my parents on one of the hiking trails and we unexpectedly came across one. This experience was quite scary for me as um, I've heard stories of uh, wild boars attacking people before and I was quite scared that it would attack me. But this is not always the case. Some people are fascinated by their presence, others have just gotten used to this in daily life. To further understand this case, I talked to Legislative Councillor Al Notkin about his knowledge and perspectives on this ongoing dilemma. Do you think that increasing population of wild bulls in Hong Kong is really a problem? Actually, uh, I think it is uh, a threat to society uh, because uh, when there is more, more uh, wild bulls uh, coming to the uh, district, and it is very easy to create a conflict. Around four years ago, uh, there is there was around just a uh, few months only uh, uh, one time. It it, it it makes more frequently uh, recently, uh, starting from half of a half of a year. I think uh, what is the most important is to avoid feeding them. Such feeding happen uh, attracted them to uh, go around out there. I had a look into what action was being taken by the government against wild boars in Hong Kong. During my research, I discovered that firstly, the government have installed boar-proof bin protectors in the Aberdeen Country Park to limit their access to food via the rubbish bins. This action will hopefully result in the boars permanently leaving the area, as the pigs will have realised that there is no food available. In addition, the government has also put up posters and banners around Hong Kong, warning people not to feed the wild animals in the area. Furthermore, 
The Agriculture, Fisheries and Conservation Department of Hong Kong, or AFCD, currently has a plan in place to expand their boar population management team from 6 to 26 in order to deal with this problem. According to Mr. Au, this team plans to capture and cull the wild boars or relocate them back to the countryside away from humans. However, many people disagree behind the ethics of capturing these wild animals. If they try to kill them, I yeah. think it is inappropriate. A local NGO known as the Hong Kong Wild Boar Concern Group is one of the main activists for the right of the animals. They believe that the wild boars are demonized by the public in Hong Kong and aim to re-educate the public about the stereotypes created by the media. Their ultimate goal is for Hong Kong to become a community where humans and wild boars can peacefully coexist. The growing population of wild boars have been under constant controversy since they started appearing several years ago. Some people see this as a problem and would like the government to take action to eliminate their existence in the city. Others believe that their presence in Hong Kong is not an issue whatsoever and would like to see humans and the boars live in peaceful coexistence. However, the question regarding Hong Kong's wild boars remain. Can the government find a solution that is satisfactory to all concerned?